And some breaking news coming in. Fuel prices have shot up for the ninth day in a row. Petrol and diesel prices have increased by over 30 paise in a single day in Delhi, Kolkata and Mumbai. Uh, let's remember this, that this is the ninth day in the row that this is actually taking place. There's been an ugly political spat that has in fact broken out over uh, the rise in these fuel prices, remember, in the national capital and Mumbai. But this is the ninth day in the row that this is happening. Petrol prices in Mumbai are at 86.56 rupees uh, per litre. Uh, petrol prices in Kolkata are 82.6 rupees per litre. Uh, really, really shooting up every day as we're seeing. Diesel prices in the capital are at 71.15 rupees per litre. My colleague Amita Balachandra joining us on the phone line with more. Uh, Amita, good morning. Definitely not something good for the citizens of India to wake up to, particularly Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata. As we're seeing once again a steady rise, this time the ninth day in the row. And we're not talking small numbers. This is over 30 paise uh, where these prices have been jacked up. Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, like you pointed out, over 30 paise, not just in Delhi, but also in Kolkata and Mumbai. In fact, in Mumbai, it's about 86.56 rupees per litre for petrol and 75 uh, 0.54 rupees per litre for diesel. And Mumbai continues to pay the highest when it comes to petrol uh, here. We've been talking to a lot of people uh, who tell us that it's eating into their savings because every month they'll have to spend that much more. Uh, and, and the big question that people are asking is why isn't fuel being uh, included in GST? Because most of the taxes, remember, or more than 50% of the tax, uh, of money is going in taxes. So right now we're looking at at least 30 paise increase in Delhi, Kolkata and Mumbai, which is bad news for uh, people. Right, Amita, but we're also seeing, you know, but despite this steady price rise that's taking place, uh, there's a lot of brand that the, the common man has to face. We're also seeing, uh, you know, a, a bitter war of words breaking out between the government and the opposition, both attempting to pass the buck. But really what's happening is that the citizens of this country, of Mumbai, of Delhi, of Kolkata, are getting caught in the crossfire. Absolutely. And like you pointed out, we have been talking to a lot of consumers. In fact, uh, we managed to speak to Ola Uber drivers, managed to speak to truck drivers. All of them have been telling us how transportation costs have just increased. There are so many, uh, you know, uh, 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 people who uh, chose to uh, cab aggregator services, for instance, uh, only to make more money than they usually made as normal drivers. But they say that they have taken a loan, they have to now, uh, you know, pay for the loan and, uh, you know, uh, uh, in include them in savings as well. So at the end of the day, at the end of the month, they are not uh, um, saving anything. If this continues, they say tough times are ahead. Right, Amita, thank you so much for bringing us those updates.